My friends, tonight and every Wednesday night on Pop Culture Breakdown at 7 Central, 5 Pacific Time, we'll break down the Disney Q3 earnings call with Mexican Iron Man and discuss their falling stock price. We'll review Deadpool and Wolverine. I'll rant about how god-awful Batman Cape Crusader is. We'll laugh over the cancellation of Captain Marvel, formerly the bestest ever. And we'll be reviewing the classic movie Conan the Barbarian. We hope to see you there on Pop Culture Breakdown tonight. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button and help us fight to save pop culture. We need you. Thanks for watching, and now, on to the video. <laughs> Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, broadcasting from my hidden base at the center of the Earth, and I am here today to declare there's something rotten in the state of Rotten Tomatoes. I have some disgusting shenanigans to report about Rotten Tomatoes' censorship of audience members in regard to the awful woke waste of space laughably called Batman Caped Crusader. It seems they're up to their old tricks at Rotten Tomatoes when it comes to Batman, silencing fans who are protesting against this crap and daring to say this new woke Batman stinks. I have proof of what I'm saying, sent in by a viewer of this channel. I'll get to that proof in a minute, but of course, this is zero surprise to anyone who watches this channel on a regular basis, because I've been arguing that Rotten Tomatoes is corrupt, unreliable, and should be completely ignored since way back during the Captain Marvel debacle, when Rotten Tomatoes was caught executing all sorts of suspicious shenanigans on behalf of their corporate masters to cover up just how awful Captain Marvel really was. Since then, Rotten Tomatoes has been busted making negative comments disappear, shutting down reviews entirely if they've proved to be too saucy, garbage like that. Fortunately, for those of us who care about facts, reality is a very persistent thing, my friends. It doesn't go away no matter how the powers that be try to strangle the truth, it always pops up again later. And again, Captain Marvel is yet another example of that very thing. Disney and Rotten Tomatoes tried to depict Brie Larson and Captain Marvel as tremendous successes. The future of the MCU was female. Rotten Tomatoes cooperated with that narrative, and yet, a few years later, what's happened? Just as my Hollywood spies reported, Disney and Marvel were unhappy with Brie Larson, Captain Marvel 2 was essentially cancelled because the alleged stunning and brave success of Brie Larson wasn't all that stunning and brave after all, and it got rolled up into the Marvels, giving Brie two co-stars, female of course, to continue spreading the agenda, and what happened there? <laughs> It was a massive bomb, a failure so complete there was no damn way to spin it. See? Reality reasserted itself and proved to be propaganda proof. The truth will out, and indeed the truth in this case was so awful, even the new Captain Marvel comic book series that launched concurrently with the release of the Marvels has already been cancelled after only 10 issues. That there is what we call a reality check, folks. Which brings us to another epic failure they're trying to cover up, Batman Caped Crusader. Over the weekend, I received this alert from a viewer about what's happening at Rotten Tomatoes. Quote, Hello, Doomcock. My name is Nick, and I'm a huge fan of your show. I've got a tip that I think you'll find quite interesting. I recently watched Batman Cape Crusader, and I went on Rotten Tomatoes to give it a one-star review and a comment expressing my displeasure at this woke garbage. However, when I went to Rotten Tomatoes reviews, I discovered that the website has disabled the audience score comment section so no one can post comments or see what others think of this garbage show. I thought you could make a video revealing this clear censorship." Unquote. You thought right, my friend. Well, naturally, I went to investigate his claim, and here's what I found. As you can see on Rotten Tomatoes' page for Batman Caped Crusader, they post the official BS rating from corporate-approved reviewers and then the audience score. And yet, where are all the audience review excerpts? Now, I never go on Rotten Tomatoes anymore because it's a crock of corporate shit and completely worthless in my view, so I didn't know where to find the audience reviews. Where the hell did they go? 
I tried clicking on the audience reviews link underneath the supposed audience score graphic and what did it pull up? <laughs> a screen saying there were no audience reviews. A complete lie. I mean, common sense alone will tell you that much that there are definitely audience reviews that have been sent in. But I also have this direct testimony from a viewer who tried to post a negative review and was rejected. And yet, there are the critics' reviews. And there's a negative one there. That's fine, since it'll be drowned out by all the other MSM reviews. Absolutely disgusting and desperate, my friends. Then I decided... Let's go look at Deadpool and Wolverine. I popped over there, and lo and behold, there were both worthless mainstream media reviews and audience reviews. So, it appears that Rotten Tomatoes is all too happy to allow reviews on films and shows where the audience is towing the party line. But on a piece of shit like Batman Cape Crusader? Entirely different story there, folks. It appears that Rotten Tomatoes will only post reviews that Rotten Tomatoes approves of. In this case, reviews that are good for corporate profits. Any dissent will be disincentivized, and by that I mean buried, made invisible, censored, and forgotten. Holy 1984, Batman! Which begs the question, what good is Rotten Tomatoes if you can't see audience reviews? No sane person is interested in mainstream media establishment corporate reviews because they're completely beholden to the powers that be, and so they're always, by default, fundamentally suspect, even the honest ones, if there are any. My god, people, I don't even look at the official Rotten Tomatoes rating by mainstream critics because these ratings are diametrically opposed to the audience ratings 99% of the time. Because despite the huge propaganda push to delegitimize audience responses as review bombing, most sane people only look at what their fellow fans are saying. I don't believe review bombing exists. I think that's horseshit. All I'm interested in are the articulate and thoughtful reviews of audience members who have seen the movie or show in question. So if Rotten Tomatoes stops allowing audience members to post their reviews and provide their feedback, then Rotten Tomatoes is absolutely worthless. Worse than worthless, it gives cover to bad movies and shows trying to trick normies into watching them by suppressing the truth or seeking to gaslight you into disbelieving your own lying eyes because, hey, most people loved this shit. Get on board or be toxic. Thankfully, most everyone watching this channel is all too aware of this gaslighting garbage and have developed immunity to it and to the woke mind virus. But I thought you should be reminded, Rotten Tomatoes is bullshit. Because take it from me, a lifelong Batman fan, I've seen it, and it sucks. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, oh yes, stay angry. Ha, 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 ha.